Hi friends, this is Chris with Josephine's Designs. I'm back today. It is January 1st, 2019. Whew, can you believe it guys? It's already here. Um, we all stayed up very late last night. Um, we watched lots of movies. We, there were so many fireworks that my husband went outside. It was too cold for me. He took my youngest out there. Um, and we live in the country, so he could hear fireworks all the way in the city, he thinks. It was like, it, he said it was kind of like, must be what it sounds like in war because there were just things going off everywhere and it never stopped. It just was solid. And um, he could see the neighboring towns, you know, their displays or, you know, people shooting off firecrackers. And then, um, but he said he could really hear the big city. And that's a long ways, but it was very cool last night. And I guess air, you know, the air is thinner and I guess sound travels, you know, more. And so, anyways, we were both talking about that. But um, then they came in and we finished watching our movies. We were watching the um, Smithsonian one uh, night at the museum uh, one two and three and then we watched um, I can't remember what else we watched but anyway so we had a lovely evening um, I haven't been with you guys and I apologize I did work ahead to give you guys some videos in case we traveled well I ended up getting sick we went to see some family on Christmas Day came home we had the next day with our son and daughter-in-law and by that night, I was full-blown, I had the tummy flu, and I was really out of, com out of commission until pretty much yesterday, um, I, but I was still was concerned because we're supposed to get together with some other family. Well, we missed our oldest daughter and her fiancé because I didn't want them to come. I was so, so sick, and then our, um, uh, some other family were going to get together, but I didn't want to take a risk and get anybody else sick and so um but um I'm almost up but I ended up with a secondary illness as a result and that will just take a little bit longer for me to get over but that's okay I mean it's and many of you who've watched this channel um I have chronic shingles so I ended up with shingles as a result um so but that happens sometimes when I get the flu I kind of go through the whole range because of my autoimmune system but okay that's the sad stuff I'm out of the way. <laughs> Get that out of the way. Um, we had a lovely Christmas. I pray that each of you guys did too. Um, I spent my sick time not wasted. Um, I watched a lot of tutorials that I love here on YouTube. And I will be giving, um, make reference to those. Uh, but I just want you guys to know that um, I'm okay. We're, we're okay. We may or may not take a trip at the end of the week. We're not sure. Um, Christmas was, you know, expensive for, like it is for everybody. So if we have a free hotel somewhere, we might go. But if we don't, I doubt we're going to go. But we'll see. And we didn't do the train ride because I got sick. But that's okay. Um, I, we, we really got a lot done, in a sense, here at our home. And it was a blessing before I got sick. So, anyways, and I still have a lot to do to clean up after Christmas. And that I'll be doing this the rest of this next week. But... Um, with my youngest helping me and uh, and she even went out and worked outside and planted trees with my husband and all that kind of good stuff which was really nice I kind of got an afternoon where I could just kind of rest quietly and that's what I needed so all right that's it I'm back here getting started um, because I was out of, out of pocket I did not work on my vision board for the year and all the planning I have started my um, kind of my project management year um, yearly planning I will finish that after my husband goes back to work um, there is so much that can happen that week that he goes back to work but I have a lot on that week and um, but um, I will probably um, after the 15th um, I think that's on a Tuesday I will come back and I, if you guys are interested I'll be glad to share that with you if you're not interested it is no big deal it really isn't but I have put that out before if you guys would like to see that I'll be glad to share that and make a video um, I like I said before I plan the whole year out I work through projects on the property and personal projects and um, probably I'll have work projects that will be in there uh, my sweet husband for Christmas, um, I'd asked him for, I have a commercial sewing machine from when I had my business and I was very concerned. I've been talking to some of the amazing people here on YouTube and asking questions like, can you, how do you feel about sewing paper on a really good sewing machine? And the answer was, 
I sew both, but I can't, I wouldn't guarantee it. And so, because that commercial machine was such a big deal, and if I don't, even if I don't sew another stitch, I want to make sure it's in great condition to give one of my daughters, um, I would not dare sew paper on it. So, my sweet husband, um, he was so cute. I told him, I said, could I please have a sewing machine for Christmas, just a really inexpensive one to sew paper. So, he is so funny. He didn't buy one, he bought two. So that I could pick which was the better one. And the first one they bought me, my youngest picked it out. It was fuchsia pink. It was one of the Janomis. And um, it didn't have some of the buttons. That, you know, it didn't have some of the bells and whistles I needed. And I mean, really, I don't need a lot. But I ended up with a Brother LX3817. Very inexpensive. And I'm super excited. I cannot wait to share with you guys some of the new projects I have for this next year. Um, it is going to be a very busy year craft-wise. Um, after my husband goes back to work, after the 15th, I will be um, having my youngest daughter help me. We are going to gut the, um, the craft studio, and we're going to get in there. And I'm going to get messy, and I can't wait. And, um, and Donna, thank you for all your encouragement. The dining room was wonderful. It's not 100% done, but it was done enough that it looked like a human house again, a regular house. And um, I will be moving my sweet birdies around because I think where their little desk is, I'm going to put the office so it won't be in the middle of the living room. Because I don't want my husband to have to be forced to go in the kitchen and all that kind of stuff. So um, I'm not sure where I'm going to put my birdies because they definitely can't go in the kitchen because they can't stand not being with us. So, But I figure God's got a plan. He's going to show me. So anyways, but that's just kind of some of the stuff that's gone on. Um, my husband also, for Christmas, because people asked, um, bought me, I asked for vintage fabric. He did a phenomenal job. He bought two different, uh, types of fabric. He bought me some fat squares. He bought me, um, the, um, and my youngest daughter helped him, um, muslin, you know, things like that that I needed. And so, anyways, it was fun. And then we were given a gift card, so I went and got some other fabric and, I just cannot wait to show you guys. It is going to be a fun year. So if any of you that love to make journals, love to make junk journals, any of that, y'all come on back because there is going to be a craft with me beginning after the probably 10th. Once I get my husband back, um, I'll start in my dining room filming. and uh, But pretty soon I'm going to be out of this parlor and I'll be in my dining room and I'll go from my dining room to my craft room and a craft studio. And so I can't wait to hang out with us. So. All right, that's kind of where we're at starting the new year. Um, I did take that two-week break for our Bible devotional, and I hope you guys are okay with that. I will have some videos coming up, and I'm also going to share with you guys some things I'll be working through this next year. And um, that'll be in another video. And for today, I am just going to hop in here, plan January, and let you guys go. So, that being that, sorry, that made a lot of noise, sorry. This is my Christian planner. I'm super excited. We're starting off. Um, I picked up some of my, I don't think I need, I, I put these in here, but I'm not sure I'm going to use them. Um, it's just my um, functionals from Michaels, but I'm going to save them over here. And then I have all of my um, Reset Girl goodies. So I'm going to use this for the month of January. I'm not 100% sure that that's where I'm going to stay in this planner, but I'm going to start in this planner in January. And I'm going to use my Cory the Reset Girl stickers, which she doesn't even, I don't think she does stickers anymore. Her daughter had picked it up for a while, but I don't think she's doing them. So, and then I also have my washies. Um, these are um, Simply Gilded and these are Amazon. So, all right, I think I shared in another video that I really love um, blues. I don't know why. It just kind of, I don't know why it always does that. And it's not because I'm blue. <laughs> it's because, I don't know, I guess it's gray and I don't know. I always just think of the color blue. So anyway, so that's what I've done. I've, I've incorporated a little bit of that kind of robin's egg and then um, just, you know, almost periwinkle and then other blues. So, all right, so let's get started. Um, here we go. Well, my, um, my sweet husband and youngest left and went to go, um, I think I'm going to, I think I'm just going to go in between with this thin one. I'm really debating on where I want to do what, you know, how you do with this. Oh, how much of this do I want to do? 
man, this is my first time to decorate this planner, so I'm super excited. Um, but anyways, my husband took my youngest. We went to go see a movie, and, um, sorry guys, I gotta reach back here. So, if you notice, this is another pair of scissors. I just bought these. These are, like, from the children's section at Walmart. Um, two of my craft scissors disappeared when I was wrapping Christmas presents. They haven't shown up in any of the gift bags, but... We still have some more to, you know, to give, so, um, because I got sick, but, oh my goodness, I was just like my brand new Tim Holtz minis. I have the bigger ones in my craft studio, but the minis, I was just like, oh, I have the cover for it, but no scissors, so, uh, I was absolutely sick. I could not believe it. I was like, how in the world did that happen? So, anyways, ugh, uh, I, I just... They're going to show up in someone's gift bag, and hopefully it's it, that I'll catch it here. It won't go to their house, but or maybe they thought it was part of the gift. I don't know. Okay. So, but I thought it was kind of funny, and I thought I'd share that with you. So, uh-huh. Wah, wah. <laughs> so, I have these. These are like 347. These are Fiskars. These are the nonstick. And they aren't super sharp, but they're not bad either. And they don't have a really pointed front on it, so I'm kind of happy about that. And I could have dug out my scissors that were my mom's, but I kind of have those packed away right now in a, in a travel case. So I just thought, eh, I'll just leave those. And I really prefer using, like, nonstick scissors, to be honest. So that was why I love the Tim Holtz. <laughs> but that's okay. I don't know. If they went to somebody else, they were meant to go to someone else. So you know how that, that thought is. They were meant to be mine. They would have stayed with me. But, anyways, we um, we went today to pack out some of the stuff for my husband's office. I think, I don't know if I said that earlier, because I kind of started this video and then stopped it and restarted it. Um, and it's kind of my first time to get out, you know, not so puny. <laughs> and, um, anyways, um, it was, um, you know, it's kind of, sad and you know there's just a lot going on there and so anyways right now um I mean I didn't do much other than just you know clean services give ideas you know that kind of a thing because I'm still kind of puny to be honest and so um but um it was kind of nice to be out and about and like like I've said before when you've been sick and stuck in the house it's it's uh, nice to breathe some other air than your, what you're used to so anyways but we got a lot done for him and he feels really good and I'm gonna help him with some other stuff and anyways um, I was my our son and daughter-in-law took my car they had to go visit her family up in Louisiana and so they were supposed to come back yesterday at least that's what we were told and they ended up not coming back until today and um, Anyways, our son, my husband and youngest daughter are gone, so I was here by myself, and I was just going through some things I needed to get, you know, spend some time on, and um, all of a sudden I hear somebody at the front porch, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, who is that? Because our property is gated, and I'm like, who is that? And it was our son, and he had brought the car back early, which I was thankful, because, you know, we knew they were getting back today. I mean, we, you know last night found out they were going to come back and or I don't know day or more ago but anyways and so he wanted to get the car back which I'm so happy um we were glad to loan him the car but uh, I don't like driving my husband's work vehicle or you know what I mean and I'm allowed to but it's just one of those things you know you just get used to your own car so anyways but he scared the tar out of me <laughs> and so I was just like, doggone, what is the rule? You need to call before you come over. <laughs> I'm here by myself. Somebody walking up on the porch scares me to death. So anyways, but I was going to get on here earlier in video and chat with you guys, but that just wasn't going to happen because he came and we chatted for a while and, you know, kind of, and I, I had missed um, a couple of presents, so it was kind of important to, you know, get those to him and anyway so and then our husband my husband and my son are gonna make a run and take over a freezer and a fridge we are the house of multiple appliances so we are giving our oldest and her fiance 
to put in his house. Well, it's their house that he lives in it now until they get married. And um, give them a freezer and fridge for their new home. And um, one's, in, one's in the basement. And the one, you know, we're going to replace our freezer with a little bit bigger freezer. We've had this freezer for 20 some odd years. <laughs> I mean, it's still a really good freezer. But it's smaller and it'll be better for them. And um, so I was telling my son, like, be ready. you got to come back over and help. And he was just like, oh, okay. <laughs> you could just see in his face, like, no. And I was like, well, remember? We talked about this. And he was like, okay. So, anyways, we got that done. It, it'll be, and I'll be glad because then I can kind of regain space in my kitchen because my kitchen is all askew because, um... You know, I've been, I have other furniture that we're waiting until they can move that out that I will put in. It's, it's just a little vintage armoire that I've had forever. And I haven't put it into play because we're trying to, you know, let everybody have, you know, time to get settled. And you, you know how you do. And so anyway, so you've just got stuff piled up in the kitchen again. <laughs> Oh, I'm just, I will be so glad when all this extra stuff is out of my house and, I don't know, just all of it gone. Um, it is way past time for it to be here. So, you know how that goes, but I am, I'm ready. And, uh, I wish I could, you know, hire a crew in and get them to come in and do all this, but it's just us chickens and, because we don't know what's going to happen, we really do have to be a little conservative in what we are doing or not doing. So, kind of mess that one up. You know what? I'm going to leave that. I'm going to cover that up instead of trying to do it. These scissors are great. They're nonstick, but they're kind of bulky. Um, they're, I don't know. You know, they're not as smooth as I would want them to be. So, all right. So, I've got that one here. Do I want to go big? No, nope, I don't want to do big at all. So, I think I'm going to go lighter up here at the top. Yep. That's what I'm going to do. And on the top, I'm just going to go all the way across. So, but I was telling that son when he came, I said, you need to be ready because <laughs> you're going to be coming over here and helping with your dad. And we've got projects to do. And, you know, there's things that he needs. You know, your sister's helping, but he really needs you to come over and help. And you know, it's just that time of year, you know, when my husband's off. He does a lot of things, and it's time, you know, it's that time, so, and I'm not saying, you know, I may respect my husband needing to rest and all that for the holidays, because goodness knows, I definitely ended up resting a lot, but, um, but there's some things he needs our son to help him with, and so that's kind of what I make a reference to, that, you know, last year he hurt himself trimming trees, and so this year I've been like, nope. <laughs> You, we're not going to the emergency room. You're going to get some help. So, anyways, we'll get it all done. But, um, it just is what it is. So, and then, um, but hopefully, and then, sorry, I'm concentrating all of a sudden. Um, crickets. Um, <laughs> I am... We're also going to, there's some Spurs games. So you guys know we're big Spurs fans. And um, my husband took our youngest, our son and daughter-in-law to a game. And actually our son and daughter-in-law paid for it, which is so sweet of them. Oh, I really like that. Isn't that pretty? Okay. And then, um, but there's a significance to the next game, which is Thursday night, or the, the night, you know, the one that we're talking about right now. And then there's a significance, or I guess the, the tickets are really inexpensive for this weekend. So our son was like, no, 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 can we get one? It's cheap. And, you know, and I was just like, oh, well, maybe, maybe that's what we do. Maybe that's what we do. So, all right, my sweet friends, I am going to put, I wanted to see, these are not going to fit over here. I don't think. Huh, you know what? I may be wrong. Let me just try. So... Anyways, to make a long story short, um, we just have a lot of different things kind of going on, and and I'm trying to think of some things for my husband to do before he has to go back to work. I cannot believe that that fit. I hope I'm in frame. That is shocking. So that's for my planners, and I'm going to put a camera here for my YouTube. 
So, anyways, but, so my son came. I was so glad I hadn't already started filming because that would have been a stop start because we all know I don't, I just don't edit. So, and I, I was watching someone over the holiday and I was realizing, you know what? It's okay not to edit because um, <laughs> I'd rather be doing projects instead. So, um, that is what I'm going to do. So I'm putting this here for books, so I'm going to put down my Bible study, and then I'm also going to put down a book a month I want to read. Um, my husband and I were just talking about that I am missing so much because I'm not reading as much, and I'm you know, kind of sad by that. So, Alright, so I'm going to put this down on Monday because Monday tends to be my Starbucks day, so I'm just going to put that up there at the top, and I either go get a tea, well I get a tea, I don't ever get anything else, I just get a tea. So... Alrighty, and I think, I love this, you must learn an, to master a new way to think before you can master a new way to be. And you know what? I am working on changing back. When I went to get fabric, um, all these people walked by me and they were asking me like, what are you going to do with all that fabric? And you know, and I wasn't getting large amounts because you don't need large amounts of fabric. And I just said, um, you know, junk journaling, I'm getting back to what I used to do and the things I used to make. And they were just like, good for you. Yeah, you could do. I mean, people were so sweet. I was just like, wow, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so anyways, but I love that because in it's been so many years of this journey and it's time for us to turn the tide. And we are making turns and we are making adjustments. But it is really time to kind of go into a new direction. And, um, and I'm going to do this. Go do it. So I'm going to put that right there. I'm going to add to that quote. How's that? Um, but so I really appreciated how kind everybody was. I mean, I could not believe how many people stopped and asked, you know, stopped and asked me. So anyway so a part of that is my mindset I've spent so many years thinking I've got to do this for everybody else I've got to do this for everybody else I've got to do this that I'm not focused on what I need to get done so you must master you must learn to master a new way to think before you can master a new way to be to do it yes I totally agree with that so you don't need more time in your day you need to decide Ooh, what can you do today to improve your tomorrow only you can make it happen. That's going to happen here. Okay. So, I'm going to put that down. Maybe. No, I think I'm going to put it down here. Only you can make it happen. So, anyways. I love Corey the Reset Girl. All of her stickers. So, and I have photography. So, I'm not going to use these. As, I pulled all these out thinking I would, um, you know, do it. And I'm going to put here, remember why you started. So... That is a good thing for me. And I love here, great things never come from comfort zones. So, because some of the things I'm going to be doing, um, it's been a while. It's been a really long time. So, I am just going to put this in here. So, remember, remember why you started. I'm going to put that up here. And this one is, great things never came from comfort zones. Oh, I should have put that one down here. Maybe I will. Hold on. Let's see if it'll unstick. Ah, <gasps> I, whoop. <laughs> whoops that kind of sounded bad but it's okay all right great things never came from comfort zones and this is remember why you got remember why you why you started okay that looks uh it looks a little crooked up there but i think i'm just gonna leave it it's a paint swatch it's okay okay so now i had a girl picked out here she is right here so i go back to work the eight I'm going to put her right there. Um, yep. My husband goes back here. That gives me a day to kind of like decompress, get my mind together, get my plans together, and that'll be a good day. So, alrighty. And I think that's it for that one. Let's see what's here. Okay. If you get tired, learn to rest, not quit. I like that. Um, focus. That's going to come on. Especially right now with... Tell you what, when you've been sick, you know how this feel, guys. It feels, guys, how this feels, how this does feel. You know, you're just, it's so frustrating for me to get sick. I, I, it's like, 
Why? Be, focus on being productive, not busy. Ask yourself if what you're doing today is getting you closer to where you want to be tomorrow. Amen. 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 I can hear the choir now. <laughs> I'm going to put that right there. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? That may even just come right up here. That is exactly what I want to think of. I have thought of everybody else to the point where my stuff hasn't been done. And you know what? That's going to stop. So, okay. So I'm going to put my planners. I do planners on Thursday. And that's where I'm going to stay with that. And I'm super excited. I've got all these craft with me plans. I am so, so excited to be with y'all. And just have you along. Oh, make the most of early hours. I don't think so. Not yet. <laughs> How's that for honesty? <laughs> I don't think so. Set goals that excite you and scare you at the same time. You won't grow unless you do things that challenge you. I agree. With this being the month of January, I'm going to be using a lot of her encouragements. <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> oh, goodness. Set goals. So we know I'm going to set goals somewhere over here. I'm going to do that. Oops, and that feels like that really is crooked. I love the paint swatches, but I, it's hard to see which way the lines go. You won't grow unless you do things that challenge you. So, I'm just going to put that down here. Well, try not to just wipe out one whole day so I can, if I need to write in it. Okay, and... Hmm. <laughs> I think... I do want another one of these girls. So, I like her. She looks cute. And I'm going to put her right in here. I'm going to put one over here. Okay. I do want to do this one. Because we have a birthday. We have a couple birthdays this month. So, there we go. There's that one for that birthday. And then, I may put one more up here. I love these honeys. They are so cute. I do. Oh, I forgot I had the stickers, too. So, I think, I really like this particular page of them. Um, hmm, I love her. She's so pretty. Hold on, let me see. Nope. Yeah, that's who I'm going to do. I'm going to put her up here somewhere. There we go. Just going to have her be right there. One great thing about these honeys is they're so tall and skinny. You can skinny them in. So I did pull out sewing machine and I did pull out these to let me set that there to figure out and I had one picked out. Um, I think creative was the one I wanted to put on this month. So hmm or maybe simplify. No, I like creative. That's where I kind of want to be. So I think I'm going to go... I do like simplify. Okay, terrible. I can't make decisions. I'm sorry. There you go. That's who I'm going to do. I'm going to do this girl. Because she's on blue, and you know how I think about blue. So I'm going to put this down here. I want to keep that focus. I want to simplify my life. And my life has been very, very, very very um <laughs> has been very i don't know what's the word not simple so how's that for an answer what were the blessings of this last month what i hope to accomplish okay so i'm gonna put this here this is my little sewing machine so i'm going to put down the projects i want to do this month here and this just says what were my blessings in this last month and what accomplishments am i proud of so and how can I demonstrate love for God and others this month? So, I'm just going to put that there because it kind of goes for me both ways. I know that this can be used in a different way, but, but, <laughs> I just want to get busy again. And so, I know that's going to require some action on my part, and I am willing to do the work. How's that? So, I think I am going to put some of these cuties on here. So... Huh, huh, hmm, I like her. Oh no, you know what? That is.